What is a structural foundation? In the simplest terms, structural foundations are the elements that act as the base of a structure. These elements form the base of the structures such as buildings and transmit loads to the ground safely. Their purpose is to resist the stress produced by those loads so that the structure on top of it is safe against settlement, failing and overturning through soil movements. Basically, there are two types of foundations, shallow foundation and deep foundation. The depth of a foundation is determined based on the weight of the structure and the geographic conditions of the ground. A structure having massive load and a ground having low bearing capacity soil probably has to go for a deep foundation. Ever wonder about world's deepest foundation? Has it ever occurred to you to think about structural foundations of world's tallest skyscrapers? The deepest foundation so far, to this date, is the foundations of the Twin Towers of Malaysia. The Petronas Towers, also known as the Petronas Twin Towers of Malaysia. These giant twin skyscrapers are situated in Kala Lampur, which is the ceremonial, legislative and judicial capital city of Malaysia. The depth of its foundations is 120 meters, which is about 400 feet. So, what made it world's deepest structural foundation? Let's have a quick peek into the interesting story behind the construction of these twin giants in the hearts of Malaysia. The towers stand 55 meters apart and are connected by a bridge at the 41st and 42nd floors in Kuala Lumpur city center. The 395,000 square meters complex which is circular in plan, has 88 occupied stories above the ground floor and five floors below it for parking. Each tower has perimeter columns on a 46 meters diameter base with an adjacent 21 meters diameter 45-story bustle. Malaysian government decided to construct the superstructure of the buildings using reinforced concrete, unlike most skyscrapers which having steel framework. At that time, Malaysia had experienced concrete construction methods, labor force and the material was locally available. If it was a steel core, the Petronas Towers would have been twice as much as expensive due to the importation cost of vast amounts of steel. However though, concrete structure was roughly twice as heavy that of a steel framework. This made these massive twin giants further heavier on their foundations. The geotechnical surveys discovered that the actual site was situated partially over a decayed limestone deposition and on soft rock. Hence, the entire site was moved 61 meters, which is about 200 feet, to allow the buildings to sit entirely on the soft rock. Because of the high slenderness ratio of the structure, the developer and the designer set an ambitious theoretical goal of zero differential settlement practically limiting it to less than 12.7 millimeters across the base of the towers. However, the geologic conditions at the site made the job technically very challenging. A depth of 10 to 20 meters at the top is water-bearing, low-bearing capacity soils with cavities, known locally as Kenny Hill Formation, which was unfavorable for foundations. I'll leave a link in the description to learn more about Kenny Hill Formation, for your knowledge. Among the different types of foundations considered for the project, the final choice, considering techno-economic considerations, fell on a piled raft foundation. A piled raft foundation is a combination of a shallow foundation such as the raft, and a deep foundation such as the pile both sharing in the process of load transfer to the soil. In simple theoretical terms, load is taken by three-way interaction between the raft, the piles and the soil. Going back to Petronas Tower foundations, they were consisting of friction piles located in the Kenny Hill formation well above limestone, but with the cavities and slump zones grout filled, with the pile lengths varied to minimize differential settlement. At the tower locations, 
the depth of limestone varied from 80 to 180 meters, making it feasible for friction piles to support tower load of 2,680 meganewtons. Adopting a design value of 110 kilonewton per square meter for skin fiction, the final design worked out as 1.3 meters diameter piles, at 4.7 meters spacing, extending below the raft of diameter 53.7 meters. The bedrock was founded at the depths ranging from 60 meters, that is approximately 196 feet, to 120 meters, which is approximately 400 feet. Because of the depth of the bedrock, and reaching that depth, the Petronas Twin Towers were built on the deepest foundations of the world so far. One hundred four concrete piles were bored into the ground and the concrete raft foundation consisted of 13,200 cubic meters which is 470,000 cubic feet of concrete. This amount was continuously poured through a period of 54 hours for each tower. The raft itself is 4.6 meters, which is 15 feet thick, weighs 35,800 tons and held the world record for the largest concrete pour until 2007. The 3D finite element analyses gave a differential settlement of 11 millimeters edge to edge under the tower properly satisfying the design goal in this respect. Extensive grouting was undertaken to fill the cavities in the limestone falling within the zone of influence of the towers, and to improve the slump zones found immediately above the bedrock. Supported by 23 by 23 meter concrete cores, and an outer ring of widely spaced super columns, the towers use a sophisticated structural system that accommodates its slender profile and provides 560,000 square meters of column-free office space. The foundations were completed within 12 months by Bachi Solatench and required massive amounts of concrete. On the 1st of January 1996, construction of these massive giants have been finished, ending nearly three years of construction period and were inaugurated 31st of August 1999. These 88-story super-tall skyscrapers, in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, standing at 451.9 meters or about 1,483 feet, were officially designated as the tallest buildings in the world, from 1998 to 2003, until they were surpassed by the 2004 completion of the Taipei 101. With this, we conclude today's video. Hope you enjoyed it while learning something. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Stay safe.